This module introduces you to the Inspectra STO2 Spot Check System, its basic operation and unique system features that support effective use. Carefully review the user manual to fully understand the device, its operation, and the potential risks to user and patient before using Inspectra STO2 Spot Check. The Inspectra STO2 Spot Check is intended for use as a non-invasive monitoring system that measures an approximated value of percent hemoglobin oxygen saturation in thenar skeletal muscle tissue. The Inspectra STO2 Spot Check is indicated for use in monitoring patients during circulatory or perfusion examination or when there is a suspicion of compromised circulation of thenar skeletal muscle. The Inspectra STO2 spot check device uses AC or battery power. First, install the rechargeable lithium-ion battery. Place the battery in the back of the device and slide in to engage. When new and fully charged, the battery allows over eight hours of continuous use. The battery may need to be charged prior to first use. Allow three hours to fully charge the battery. Next, attach the optical cable to the Inspectra STO2 spot check. Align the button on the cable connector with the connector on the top of the device and push to secure, taking care to not bend the pins. Now, connect the reusable Inspectra STO2 clip. Insert the two prongs on the Inspectra STO2 cable into the two holes on the top of the clip. Press the cable and clip together to click into the locked position. Ensure there is no gap between the cable and the clip. You are now ready to power on the Inspectra STO2 spot check. Press the power button on the front of the device. The STO2 and THI labels will appear in approximately 30 seconds. To power off the Inspectra STO2 spot check, press and hold the power button on the front of the device. White lines will appear on the screen and turn black as the device powers down, approximately three seconds. Releasing the button at any time during shutdown will immediately restore power to the device. The system check allows you to quickly check the ability of the Inspectra STO2 spot check system to accurately calculate STO2 and THI. Use the system check if the Inspectra STO2 spot check system is exposed to ionizing radiation such as x-rays and computed tomography scanning, when you replace the Inspectra STO2 clip, or you suspect damage to the Inspectra STO2 spot check or any of its components, or if you suspect you have an inaccurate measurement. To take a system check reading, place the Inspectra STO2 clip on the top of the Inspectra STO2 spot check device and press the System Check button. After approximately 20 seconds, the Inspectra STO2 system measurement and THI will be displayed. The reading will appear in green if the system check is within range. The reading will appear in red if the Inspectra STO2 spot check is out of range contact the service center. If the system check reading failed, the fail icon will remain on the screen until the reading passes. If a failed system check reading is obtained, do not measure a patient's STO2. Refer to the troubleshooting guide. All system check readings automatically clear from the Inspectra STO2 spot check after five seconds. To cancel a system check reading at any time, press the System Check button to return to the main screen. Obtain STO2 and THI readings by positioning the clip over the patient's thenar eminence. The Inspectra STO2 clip is for external use only and should only be used on intact, clean, and dry skin. Note that excessive patient motion can cause large rapid changes in STO2. Rest the patient's arm at heart level with nothing restricting blood flow to the hand. Clean and dry the base of the thumb on the palmar side of the hand to prevent contaminating the patient interface area. To place the clip, squeeze the tabs and slide the black shield over the thenar eminence muscle. Ensure that the clip is placed over the fleshy part of the muscle. Ensure the Inspectra STO2 clip is in close contact with the palmar side of the hand to avoid high ambient light conditions that may result in the device not being able to take a measurement. 
Check THI signal strength on the device screen. A THI greater than 5.0 indicates sufficient hemoglobin to obtain an adequate signal in most circumstances. Do not leave the Inspectra STO2 clip on the patient's Thenar site for longer than 15 minutes. If continuous monitoring is desired, use the Inspectra STO2 tissue oxygenation monitor, model 650, and the Inspectra STO2 sensor, model 1615, for trended patient STO2 measurements. Remove the Inspectra STO2 spot check system from the patient prior to MRI scanning. Do not use in the presence of ionizing radiation, such as CT or X-ray. Exposure to ionizing radiation will cause cumulative damage to the device, resulting in inaccurately low Inspectra STO2 system readings. Inaccurate measurements can result from placing the Inspectra STO2 clip over a hematoma or bony prominence, endocyanine green and methylene blue dyes in the blood, methemoglobin, carboxyhemoglobin, and other dishemoglobins in the blood, placing the Inspectra STO2 clip over tissue obscured by ink, such as tattoos, markers, or pens. This module introduced you to the basic operation of the Inspectra STO2 spot check. Please review the user manual to fully understand the device, its operation, and the potential risks to user and patient before using Inspectra STO2 spot check.